morning, Amanda. It's Friday, and this is probably the last time in a while I'm going to be saying that because in order to keep on track with your schedule and with your change on Sunday, I will be changing to posting on Thursdays. I feel like that'll work easier for both of us and make things smoother. Since this is unfortunately my first video of 2014 because I am a slacker, I hope that whatever resolutions you've made sticking to them and you're having success with them. When I make New Year's resolutions, I make several at once because I like to multitask, I guess, and it's easier to stay busy with several small goals rather than one huge one, although most of my goals are pretty big this year, and one of them is to get back into cardiovascular shape enough where I'm going to be running a half marathon in the next year. So originally this video this week was going to be about getting back into shape and staying healthy after New Year's, but it is cold as shit outside and so I'm not running outside this week. Hopefully I'll be able to film it within the next few weeks and hopefully the temperature will rise a little bit because it's been far too cold lately. I hope that most of you have found a way to stay warm in what seems to be part two of the polar vortex, but I'm not running today. So instead, today's video will be more about New Year's resolutions in general and some tips on how to stay as on task with them as you can. Maybe some en encouragement, I guess. I'll try motivational speaking. Tip number one, set a realistic goal. It can be something as simple as cutting back on eating sweets, as trying to get into shape to run a half marathon. But pick a goal that you think is realistic for your life and for your schedule this year, and stick to that goal. I mean it. I'm watching you. I believe in you. I know you can stick to that goal, mister or miss. Tip number two, prepare yourself for dedication, because it's going to take a lot of work on your part, but I know you can do it. I'm talking to myself as much as I am to you because I have to run 13.1 miles by the end of the year. I can do it, I think. Uh. Expect some setbacks. It's not gonna be a walk in the park, it's not gonna be a piece of cake. It's gonna take a lot of hard work and you're gonna have days where it's gonna be a little bit difficult for you. But you just have to persevere, push through them, and keep working towards your goal. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't expect immediate progress. We'll take time, whatever your goal is. It's This applies to any kind of goal, I guess. But if other people have similar goals to you and they are having immediate success, so it seems, don't feel like that should be happening to you too because everyone is different, everyone has different levels of progress at different speeds, and you will get there. I believe in you. I'm gonna keep saying, I believe in you. Don't look away. I'm looking at you. Looking right at you. Believe in yourself. Cause that's the place to start. What a wonderful kind of day. Another goal of mine should be to have more sleep. Because that is a thing I lack. And that's a thing that I need. Everyone make that a goal of yours too. More sleep. Tip number, I stopped counting five minutes ago. Don't be afraid to reward yourself for your progress. You've been working really hard, and you deserve a little bit of a break, or some kind of treat that you can treat yourself to, because you've earned it, and I'm proud of you. Proud of you. Alright, so those are some tips on how to stay focused and work hard towards your goal, and I hope that these are of some use to you. And I hope that you haven't already given up on your New Year's resolution because it's still January and you still have 11 months ahead of you this year. And I know that you're capable of accomplishing whatever you set your mind to. As I, this video is also completely directed at myself and I'm talking to myself because I need to hear this. <laughs> and Amanda, this particularly applies to you as you are heading into audition season. You've already begun. And I hope that your auditions went spectacularly well, which I'm sure that they did because you're amazing. I hope you get into all of the colleges. And for any of you viewers who are applying to colleges, I hope you get into all of the colleges. Get all of the scholarships and all of the monies. Yes. 
I am an excellent motivational speaker, as you can tell. Pep Talks on DVD by um, Never. Alright, so I hope you are all having a wonderful week, and Amanda, I will see you on Sunday.